So if you take the, the whole agri-food chain, it actually consumes about 30% of the available energy globally. And interestingly, 70% of that energy is consumed after the farm gate, beyond the farm gate. And so if you look also at the, the conventional way of developing agri-food chains, they are very dependent on fossil fuels. Now, this has done wonders over decades, I mean, in terms of uh, providing the food to, 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 to people and to, to address food security. But now we need to think differently because you're supposed to use less and less fossil fuel because of the climate change uh, challenge and also because the, increasingly the, 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 the cost of food is related to the cost of energy. And so even if the cost is low but it's volatile, then it makes the, the, the cost of food uh, also volatile. Using uh, energy which is available locally for every food chain is a very interesting uh, endeavor because it, it increases the self-reliance of, of farmers on energy and this is good in terms of climate change adaptation but also climate change mitigation. Geothermal energy fits into that constellation of renewable energy for agriculture. And the big advantage of geothermal is like it's constant. It's constant, it doesn't require a lot of, a lot of uh, land. And once you have overcome the investment cost, then it costs practically nothing. If you use energy smart food, so energy which is used more efficiently, uh, gradually using uh, more renewable energy, then automatically it, it is climate smart. And, and uh, in terms of climate, uh, climate change mitigation, but also, for example, we uh, work quite a lot on what we call integrated food energy systems. So systems whereby you can combine the production of food and energy, which may include geothermal energy produced on farm. And so in that way, you also increase farmers' resilience and therefore their adaptation to, to climate change. The Energy Smart Food Programme for People and Climate that, that FAO has been developing for a couple of years now uh, has basically th four goals. Along the agri-food chain, uh, we primarily want to address um, inadequate access to modern energy services at every stage of the agri-food chain. Then we also want that the uh, adequate access to modern energy services is also done in an efficient way. So we need to improve uh, energy efficiency. And thirdly, gradually move from fossil fuel use to renewable energy use. The, the fourth component is to use in a, in a more efficient way a lot of resources that are used in the agri-food chain and which are inter interconnected. I'm speaking about water, energy, food, uh, nexus as, as it's called now, which means that we need to use uh, these resources and produce them in an integrated way.